about 31, I had a question coming out of section 2.2, number 25. And this said, find the equation of a line using the point-slope formula, but then write your final answer up in slope-intercept form. So just to remind ourselves of the formulas, point-slope is y minus y sub 1 equaling m times x minus x sub 1. And then slope-intercept, that's the y equals mx plus b form. All right, so they have in common these m's, but they have different pa ordered pairs involved. And what I mean by this, the ordered pair in point slope is x sub 1, y sub 1. It's any point. And the point involved in this one is specifically the y-intercept. So if we, we take a look at what was given to us, it said the y-intercept was 2, and the other point was 4, negative 1. So if I hear that the y-intercept is 2, that means that the ordered pair I'm looking at is 0, comma 2. All right, now the other ordered pair they gave me was 4, negative 1. And if I want to use point slope, well, I have the points, right? I actually have two points here. That's fine. But what I don't have and what I need, I need the slope. So in order to find the slope between these two points, I'm going to use the slope formula. And that's where you see me taking the difference in the x's here, excuse me, the difference in the y's, in ratio to the difference in the x's. So I use the slope formula, which was m equaling y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And I plugged these points in to that formula. And it doesn't matter what you call x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 as long as you're consistent. So then what I'm going with is here is my slope, right? And then I have one of two points I could pick. Now, I, I've put a lot of um, colors right here, but you can pick 0, 2 to plug into the formula, or you can plug in 4, negative 1 to the formula. And when I say the formula, I'm talking about the point slope form. So let me go ahead and erase a bunch of this just so that we can map this out, and I, I don't have that many highlighters. So I'm going to erase all of this. Um, let me see if I can erase that. Let's see what it'll let me erase. Ooh, look at that. Fancy, fancy. It won't erase everything. That's perfect. Okay, so what I want us to focus on is, again, I know this slope, and I can pick either of these two points. Now, the work that I did here, I opted to pick this point. And, and it doesn't matter which point you use for point-slope formula. You just need one. All right, so let's take a look. I have my slope. Actually, let me put it in yellow there. Here's my slope, right? And there is my slope, which is why you see me subbing that in for that position in that formula, right? I subbed in negative 3 fourths for my m. All right, then I have a point. Let me change the pink highlighter. So the point, I need the y-coordinate here and the x-coordinate here. And that's why I put negative 1 here, right? That was the y-coordinate. And I put 4 here. That was the x-coordinate. And then it's a matter of simplifying and distributing and things of that nature. So I'm going to distribute the negative 3 fourths to both terms. And then I get to this equation. To solve for y, I just need to subtract 1 for both, from both sides. And that's why I arrive at this answer, right? And that, sure enough, is in mx plus b form. So I've, I've solved the question asked of me. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.